Today I'm going to tell you one more thing that can help you fix your armor faster in Call of Duty Warzone. Before we get started with that though, I do want everyone to know that I've got a poll out on my channel under the community tab here. If you want to have an impact on the future of this channel going forward, I invite you to go ahead and vote in this poll and also drop me a comment to let me know what you would like to see me cover next. For anyone who might have missed out on the first two videos about how to repair your armor faster, I've got links to those down in the description. And I'm also going to go ahead and summarize all that information for you right now. But if you want more details, please do go check out those other videos once you're finished with this one. The best and probably the easiest thing you can do to repair your armor faster is to repair all of your armor plates at once. And what this is going to do for you is it's going to make that second and third armor plate repair in about a second and a half each. So that's one and a half seconds for two armor plates or three extra seconds for all three armor plates. And the reason that it helps you repair your armor faster is that the armor repair mechanic is broken down into various phases. In phase one, you put away your current weapon and equip an armor plate. Then in phase two, you repair the first plate. Phase three, you repair any additional plates. And then phase four, you switch back to your weapon. Because switching to armor is just like switching to another weapon, your weapon swap speeds also play a significant factor in the armor repair process. This means that if you're using a weapon with a faster swap in or swap out time, like a handgun, then that's going to let you repair your armor a whole lot faster than something like an LMG or an assault rifle. Piggybacking on that same concept, there is a perk in tier 3 called Amped. This perk lets you swap weapons faster, therefore you do get a slight bonus to your armor repair time. And again, all of that was covered in the first two videos in great detail, so if you'd like more details on any of that, please check the videos down in the description. And after making these two videos, I thought that I had learned everything there was to know about repairing armor, but it turns out there is one more thing you can do in order to repair your armor faster in Warzone. I'd like to give a big shout out to Hamza S, and he left a comment, you can see it on the screen right now, and he says, is there not a better way to do it like how the pros do it? Watch their way of putting armor plates and it's like they're tapping but holding. Example, swag. Now, I couldn't find anything specific that Swag was doing, but in doing all this, I did test a few different combinations of armor repair. I've compared how long it takes to repair armor on PS4 to how long it takes to repair armor on PC, and the good news is there's no benefit there. Then I decided to test the different input devices, and I found two significant benefits to using a keyboard and mouse over using a controller when it comes to fixing armor. The first benefit that you should know about is an extra setting that keyboard and mouse players get, which is not available to controller players. You can see this setting on the screen right now, and what this does is it repairs either one armor plate, or it repairs all of your armor plates with one simple press of the button. So taking this in game to an example, let's say you have no armor plates and you have two in your inventory. On a controller, you're going to need to hold in your weapon switch button until both of those armor plates are fixed. On a keyboard and mouse, you have two options. You can either press and release the repair armor button two times, or you can just push it once if you have this setting set to apply all plates. The second benefit is a much larger one and it has to do with timing. On controller, you have to press and hold the weapon switch button, which is going to be Y on Xbox or Triangle on PlayStation 4, in order to fix your armor. On PC, however, you just have to push a button. On PC, what happens is your character immediately pulls out his armor and then begins the armor repair process. On controller, however, it's a different story. On controller, you have to push and hold the button, and the game has to have enough time to register that you are pressing and holding the button. The duration of the hold button appears to be right around 200 milliseconds, at which time your character begins swapping his weapon. This means that if you're using a controller compared to a keyboard and mouse, you've got an extra 200 milliseconds that you need to wait before your armor is repaired. If you choose to set the setting to apply all, then a single press of the button will repair all of your armor plates until either you're full of armor plates or your inventory is empty. If you're using the apply one setting, then your character will repair one armor plate every time you press the button. In other words, if you only want to fix two armor plates, push the number four key two times. On controller, you'd have to hold in the triangle button for 200 milliseconds to begin the armor repair process. Then you would have to continue holding in the triangle button and then release it after the second plate was installed. Now for my opinions on this. I don't really see any way that Infinity Ward could have programmed this any better than the current way, but this just highlights one more example of why playing on a keyboard and mouse has a benefit over playing on controller. Now of course controllers have some benefits too, like aim assist and generally being easier to use for a lot of people, but I haven't seen anyone point out this particular difference before and I was pretty surprised when I noticed it myself. Personally, I don't think this is a huge deal when it comes to long range engagements, but when you're up close, 200 milliseconds can make a lot of difference. I'm curious to know what you think though. First of all, was this something you already knew about or were you just as surprised as me to hear this? I'd also love to hear your opinion as to whether you think this is something that should be changed or just left alone by Infinity Ward. 
let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like even more Call of Duty tips, tricks, and tactics, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on my next video. Don't forget to like this one if you learned anything, and as always, thank you very much for watching.